Welcome to this video guys. In this video, you'll not only see how to create a new GitHub repository, you'll also learn how you can push your local repository to GitHub. Okay, so before doing that, let's see what are the difference between GitHub, Git, and what is a Git repository in itself. So first, imagine that you have a photo album saved on your laptop, right? You can add new photos, delete old ones, or edit the photos. You can even save versions of edited photos so that you can go back to the original photo if you need to. And this photo album is only on your computer. No one else can see it unless you share it manually, right? So you can have different photo albums. So let's say you have one for Dubai trip, you have one for Hawaii trip, you have one for, uh, I don't know, you have one for your friend's marriage. So you have different kind of albums where you have different photos. And this is kind of like Git repository. You have it in your local machine, you have different changes in it, and you can roll back to your previous update, just like we can roll back to your previous unedited photos. So your local photo album is your Git repository, okay? So that is a completely different thing to GitHub. Till now, we have not even touched GitHub. We are just talking about Git. Okay? Now, what is GitHub repository? So let's say you have your Hawaii trip where you went with your friends and you want to share it with your friends, right? So you just upload that album to Google Photos and you upload another Dubai trip to Google Photos and then you share those albums with your friends, right? It's now in the cloud. You can access it from anywhere and share it with your friends. You can see, comment or even collaborate and your friends can also upload photos to the same album. So that is GitHub repository, okay? GitHub is like Google Photos, but for your local Git repositories. In Google Photos, you have different albums which you can share with different people. In GitHub, you have different Git repositories which you can share with your fellow developers, okay? So now that we have that clear, let's create a GitHub repository and let's push our local code or our local Git repository into the GitHub repository. So just click on this new button here in your GitHub homepage. And I'll just call this test repo. You can have description if you want. And you can also have a readme file. But if you have this readme file, you'll have to clone this readme file and then write code, okay? Since we already have a local code that we want to push, I will not click this. In any case, this is not mandatory. You can just ignore this. Now I want it to be public. You can make this private repository. Now, once you have the repository ready, just click on create repository. And now your GitHub repository is ready. But if you give this link to someone, because this is a public repository, you will see that there is no code here. There's just a quick setup and so on. So what you can do is now we'll go ahead and push our local code to this machine. Sorry, to this GitHub repository. So let's say you have this Git demo project, right? Right now, I just have one file that says this is a demo. So what I want to do is I want to create a local Git repository, okay? And then push this local Git repository to GitHub. This is the mandatory step. First, you need to create a local repository, and then you can push it to a remote repository, that is GitHub. Now, instead of GitHub, you can push to GitLab, Bitbucket, or any other cloud repository management system. So what you can do is first open terminal inside this directory. So I'll just type CMD and hit enter. Now this is a shortcut and your command prompt will open inside this directory. If you are on any other platform like Mac or OS, just open your terminal and then browse to your project folder. Once you are inside your project folder, type git in it, hit enter, and you will see this message, initialize git repository. Now it will create a .git folder, and this folder is hidden, so you might not be able to see it. So if that is the case, you can just hover over view, click on show, and just select hidden items, and your hidden items will be shown. Okay, so now that we have .git project here, what we need to do is we need to add all the code files to tracking, that is, the changes to those files will be tracked by GitHub. So what I'll do is I'll just type git add dot. This means that add all the files inside this, pro inside this project to tracking. So now our git will track all the files inside this, but we only have code.txt. Now before pushing, what you need to do is you need to find all the changes. You need to say like, okay, my changes are done. This feature is completely implemented or this feature is done or this error is fixed or I've made some progress, but it's not yet working. So you have to 
specify what changes you need to push. Let's say I've coded for half an hour and I'm ready to push now. So I'll write a message and the message is get commit dash M. I'll say initial commit. For the commit, you can now push. And what happens is all the changes till this last commit will be pushed. Now, if I write something else here, this is new change and save it. And now after saving this, if you try to push this to GitHub, this change will not be pushed. But before pushing to GitHub, we first need to let our Git know where we want to push, right? There are millions of repositories. We need to define where we want to push our code. To do that, we first need to copy the link of our Git repository and enter this command, git remote add origin, and then just paste the URL that we have just copied, enter dot git at the end, hit enter, and now git knows where to push our local repository. So after we've done this, we can push our code to the remote repository. This is a demo will be the only change that will push because this is new change was added after we had committed our change. So let's try to push this. The command to push is git push origin and then any branch you want to push to. For now, I'll just push to master branch because that is the default branch in git. And it will ask you to authorize. So uh, I have two accounts here. I can choose which git account I want to push to. And I'll just choose the one that I'm currently logged in in my browser. And now we can go back to the browser reload the page and check if our recent change has been reflected or not. And as you can see, the code.txt file is here. And the only change here is this is a demo. Now, if we want to push the new change that was added by us after the commit, we need to again commit. But before committing, we need to add the file in which it was changed again. So instead of entering git add dot like we did earlier, we can just enter this command git commit dash am. This just adds all the files that were added again to staging and then we can just enter a commit message, push again using the command git push origin master. And now we can go back to our GitHub repository, reload the page and as you can see, the new change has been made. So, this is how you can create a local repository and how you can push to GitHub. Now, there are a lot of other things like which branch to push to and so on, but that is beyond the scope of this tutorial. I'll have those tutorials in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below.